Hello everyone, I am very sorry for posting this video so late. Uh, whenever I had some free time to work on games, I just immediately started work on one of my personal projects, one of which is Super Mario and the Elemental Orbs, and the other one is an indie game that is currently in progress. I do plan on making videos more often, keeping this channel alive and stuff. But let's just get to the video now because that's probably why you clicked this. So as you have probably already seen in the title, this part is about bug fixes. There were some bugs in the previous versions that were unaddressed and I aim to fix those now. One of these is the infinite spin dash that I would uh, call it. Basically you charge the spin dash, then let go of it for a very long time and you still have the full charge. Now this is basically the game failing to really reduce the spin dash variable and we are going to fix this bug now. So to fix this glitch we go to object sonic to his step event and we go look for the spin dash code because that's obvi obviously where the bug comes from. Now this is the spin dash code and this line right here, this line, is supposed to decrease the spin dash variable so that when we release the button we gradually get a weaker spin dash. However, currently this only executes when we press the button. So it really doesn't have much of an impact. In fact it should just execute every frame while we are spin dashing. To fix this, we uh, copy and remove this code and we paste it right under this bracket here. Now by placing it here instead of within this action we actually make it execute every frame and because of that we will get a decreased spin dash. Now to showcase this uh, let me just defeat the enemy. Previously we could charge it and then release it and we would still have the full spin dash. Now I'm currently still charging it and I am releasing the button right now. And you can see we have a decreased spin dash. You can still do quite a fast spin dash. However if you release the button then you will get a weaker one. So that bug has been fixed now. Another bug that I came across was basically the infinite roll. When you roll and then you still hold right or left, you do a very, very slow roll. You can ki still kill enemies with this state and yeah, this is just not supposed to happen. To fix this we once again go to Object Sonic's step event and this time we take a look at, let's see where it is this specific part. Here when your acceleration or I should say your speed is really slow then your speed is basically set to zero to prevent you from very slowly walking. Now we forgot one thing here and that's when it reaches this state we would also like to stop Sonic from rolling. So by putting brackets here and adding the line rolling equals false to the statement we actually force the rolling to stop and Sonic will return to his normal state. Now, once again I kill the enemy. Now when I'm rolling and I'm still holding right, we will just duck. Same goes for doing it on the left side. So that bug has been fixed too. The last bug for today is quite a weird one. It was discovered by TailsLuigi3254, so thanks very much for that. And it turns Sonic into a very weird state. If we hold down while we are being hit by an enemy, we get this very weird state. Sonic won't change sprites accordingly. He can only duck and roll. And yeah, this is uh, by far the craziest glitch we've seen this day. Now, how do we fix this? To do that, we once again go to Object Sonic and open the step event. And we scroll all the way down to this section, which returns control when the player falls on the ground when getting it. 
Now what we want to do here is remove this ground equals true check and replace it by the following. If place meeting x y plus two times vertical speed plus two object solid. Now what this does is it actually checks two frames ahead instead of one. I am not actually sure what caused the previous bug. However, I think it has something to do with the rolling mask actually being smaller and thus it changes the way it handles the collision and the collision actually gets executed before this code. I'm not entirely sure about that though, so if anyone knows the gas, please let me know. However, this is not quite full code yet because if we do this, Sonic won't be able to uh, return control when he falls on a slope. So what we want to do is add a bracket here, a normal bracket, and add an OR. And OR place meeting, once again x, y plus 2 times vertical speed plus 2, object slope parent. Now this checks for both solids and slopes. Now let's run the game and see if it is fixed. I'm holding down now and we just go to the ducking state. So that has been fixed perfectly. The same goes for the slopes and we can also still get hurt normally. That hasn't changed in any way. So I think that covers everything for this episode. I think this part was the last one in the series. I am very sorry I'm not going to do a 360 tutorial in this Sonic tutorial. I just think it is too complicated to cover in a YouTube tutorial. I might do it as a standalone tutorial later. It will probably take more than an hour though. So if you really like uh, sitting through all of that, then you can. I can promise anything though. I may or may not do it. It just depends. The only reason I would uh, make a, a new part is if more game break breaking bugs show up. I do want to leave a solid game and if there are just too many bugs to enjoy it then I will create another part and I will fix them. This won't be the end of my tutorials though. I do plan on making more of them. Uh, some standalone tutorials but I also want to create an entirely new series starring a favorite blue bomber Mega Man. Now I want to cover every basic thing there is to Mega Man, which includes jumping and shooting, climbing ladders, uh, defeating enemies, but also things like special weapons and color swapping. Those will all be covered. I am not sure when this new series will start, but hopefully it will be soon. I hope you enjoyed our Sonic ride, and I will hopefully see you soon. Thank you for watching.